This is the intro video to the section on price and option with the risk included. Check out the entire Black Shoals course at momentsintrading.com or at youtube.com slash momentsintrading. Now we're going to price an option with the risk included, which introduces a whole new set of ideas and concepts. Before I go any further, this is simply the overview. If you get a little lost in this video, we're going to cover each and every part in detail in the next several videos. In the video on price and an option with the risk removed, we saw that with the risk removed, price would increase at the risk-free rate. This was confirmed by the no riskless arbitrage argument. Including the risk in price and an option gives us two unknowns, ND1 and ND2, both of which we solve using probability. In other words, ND1 and ND2 figure out the odds or, probab the odds or probability of what will happen. The calculated probability or odds in ND1 and ND2 are then used to adjust the value of the future stock price and the strike price. The first unknown is, will the option be exercised? In other words, will the stock price be at or above the strike price on the day the option expires? We answer that question with ND2. This is a simple probability, yes or no question, that is answered using a standard normal distribution curve, which shows the probability or odds of an event occurring. We determine a range of probability of the path of price based on its periodic daily returns. See where the option strike, pro see where the option strike price falls into that range, and then determine the odds of price being at or above the strike price when the option expires. In other words, ND2 answers the question, what are the odds that price will be at or above the strike price on expiration date? For example, let's say a stock is currently $10 today and we buy a $12 call option that expires in three months. ND2 tells us, using simple probability, if the strike price will be at or above $12 when the option expires. In other words, it tells us the probability or odds of whether or not the option will be exercised. Let's say, the stock is at a, let's say the stock is at or above $12 in three months. The option is exercised and we get to buy that stock for $12. Even if the stock is $13, $14, $20, $100, $100, we still get to exercise the option we previously bought and use it to buy the stock for only $12. We get to buy the stock for $12, but if that happens, the price or value of the stock at the time will either be $12 or it'll be more than $12. We get to buy the stock for $12 using our option, but the stock price could be any amount $12 or above. This brings us to the second unknown. The second unknown we have to answer is, if and only if the option is exercised, what will the future value or price of the stock be? We get to buy it for $12, even if the stock is worth more than $12. ND1 tells us the probability or odds of what the value of the stock will be. It is an expected value formula based on probability that is contingent on the option being exercised. Like ND2, ND1 also takes the historical rate of change of price and looks at the odds or probability of where the price of the stock will be when the option expires if and only if the price is above the strike price of the option. So using probability, ND2 answers the question, will the stock price be at $12 when the option expires, yes or no? And ND1 answers the question, if and only if the stock price is at or above $12, what will the price of the stock be? In the next several videos, we will break down this process step by step. Doing so requires using the following tools. Periodic daily returns, standard deviation, probability curves, specifically the normal and log normal distribution curves, z-score, and the cumulative distribution function. While I will cover these briefly in the Black-Scholes course, if you are totally unfamiliar with these subjects, I recommend watching the individual videos on these in the mini stats section. Don't be intimidated by the math or hearing the word statistics. These are pretty basic concepts and I break them down in pretty simple terms. 
In the next video, we will go back to the two driving forces of price and take a closer look at how risk affects price movement. See you then.